to bed last night. Did you? Yeah. It's good to see you. We were watching the chase. <laughs> both so thirsty, but both refusing to make a brew. <laughs> Who caved first? I don't know. I woke up. Kept my eyes closed, though. Holding on for more. She'd gone. She's gone. Hey, uh, delivery guy let me in. So is it a, a bad time? Oh, what do you think? Yeah, that's a stupid question. What, if Carla sent you? No, hang on, nobody sent me, OK? I just came to ask, ask if we could leave the police out of it. <laughs> I know it's a big ask. You know, but Carla's your sister. She's made a terrible mistake. A mistake? A mistake? I think you should borrow one of your dad's dictionaries, Peter, because she knew. She knew. But she's still a sister. Well, it's too late. Me and him reported her yesterday. <laughs> Look at his face. He's genuinely outraged. You know, however long they lock her up for, it won't be enough. Even if it's life, it won't be enough. Get out. I know of. Hey, um. Look, I won't insult you with uh, how you're doing. I had no idea the factory was so dangerous. No one's blaming you. Rana and Aiden would hate to see everyone out of a job. Yeah, no. You're looking for your boyfriend? Ursa Romance isn't dead, unlike my wife. Nino's are coming. Mind if I watch? Mrs. Connor, we'd like to speak to you back at the police station. I just, I need to see Mrs. That'll Connor. have to wait. Carla Connor, I'm arresting you on suspicion of gross negligence manslaughter. I, I just, I, I, you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Yeah. The factory roof was replaced in January 2018 after it was stolen. Is that correct? How many times are you going to ask me that? Oh, I'm sorry. Are we boring you? I lied to you. I knew the roof was unstable. When exactly did you find out? It was a Tuesday, three Tuesdays ago. I had somebody look at the whole roof. Who prompted that? A pool of water dripping on my desk. Who was the someone who looked at the roof? Gary Windass? No, Gary had already said he was no roofer. So who exactly discovered that the roof was in a precarious state? I don't know his name. John... Jim. Jim, a random card was put through the door at home and I thought I'd give him a whirl. A random card? What did John slash Jim say exactly? He said that the joists were too short. And that they were resting on makeshift posts, not walls. So when you looked shocked, you were playing us? Yeah. Did you tell anybody else that the factory roof was hazardous? No. Categorically, no one else knew? No one but me. So in the course of working on the fire damage, Gary never once Mentioned the state of the roof. I told you Gary wasn't a roofer, OK? I, I told him specifically just stick to the fire damage. Let's be crystal clear but The only person that knew for a fact that roof was unstable was me, OK? Rana, Rana died because I was too busy burying my head in the sand trying to keep that factory afloat with a big order on the go just so that I can have the roof fixed properly. And I could have killed her. I did. I killed her, OK? I killed her. Is that crystal enough for you? 